So Lauri Wuhr and Silda from Finland decided to bring in some help. His hydraulic press. That is a seriously impressive piece of kit. I have always wanted to know if this was possible. You must be able to do it more than seven times if you have enough power. Time to find out, Tom. Whoa. What the f I've never seen paper like that. It completely transformed. It's just crumbling to bits. Lowry's crushing prowess won him over 100 million hits online in less than a year. We went to Finland to find out why the internet is obsessed with the press. There is always that excitement. What would be inside of that thing or would it explode? When I folded the seventh time, I was thinking that this is my last fold and something bad is going to happen with the press, but the explosion was surprising to me. It's very hard and brittle, I think. We cannot <laughs> fold it more than seven times with our press. So why did the paper explode? The tremendous force required to create the seventh fold actually causes the paper to crack and break. This means that the hydraulic press slams down a very short distance very, very quickly. And this press can create a thousand kilonewtons of force. That's the equivalent of 20 African elephants standing on this bit of paper. When Lowry takes a look at the folded paper, it no longer acts as paper. This happens because the paper is printer paper, which has been coated with calcium carbonate, which is basically rock. The immense force of the hydraulic press causes the crystal structure in the calcium carbonate to collapse, resulting in a very brittle, very flaky material. Lowry, you can crush paper, but what about scissors and stone? I accept your challenge. We made some kind of rock pancake. That was exciting. So now we are done paper, rock, scissors, and the press wins every time. Thanks, Lowry. We're glad you pressed on.